Hey everybody, video here for you today. Probably have a couple videos. Probably have one of Dundell's singing lighter. Saw her Friday night and Dundell, I hope your air conditioning has been fixed since I talked to you a couple nights ago. But we're going to go down to one of these ancient mound sites in Turkey. This is called Arslan Tepe or Aslan Tepe. And it's right down here. The ruins here date back maybe five, seven thousand years. It's a little confusing when reading about this. But here is the site today. There is a roofed-in area, just like at Gobekli Tepe, kind of an open-air museum at this site here. Some pretty fascinating finds. First of all, let's go down and see if we can get a good look at this on Street View down here. I think this is a good place right down here. You notice they have this place kind of fenced off, protected. They have some signs up here, but here you get a good look at the ancient mound, the ancient tell. Ruins here going back. Many civilizations, the Hittites were here, other people. Let's look at a few articles. I will leave a few links below, but here is one article coming from about nine years ago. I guess you can't mention this site without mentioning this lady. It says, dedicating a lifetime to ancient site of Aslan Tepe. It says, the head of the excavation works at the ancient site of Aslan Tepe. Italian professor Marcella Frangipani says that the site is like her child after all these years. And it says here that the site dates back to 5000 BC. The first excavations at Aslan Tepe were conducted by the French in the 1930s and the Italians started work at Aslan Tepe about 51 years ago. It says Frangiapani first joined the excavations in 1976 and she said she was a young woman at 28 then and she has come to the Malachia site every year since then and stayed for about two and a half months but there's a look at her at the excavation site. Here is one of the links I will leave below. Work shed light on Aslan Tepe tumulus. Here they say it's 5,000 years old. In other articles they say it began about 5,000 BC. So are they talking about these specific ruins in here are 5,000 years old? But it says the 5,000 year old Aslan Tepe tumulus is home to the world's oldest palace. And here are some of the things uncovered at the site. In this article here it says last year we found a very good building in the south of the ancient site. This building dates back to the old bronze age about 2200 BC. This building is on top of the hill. It shows that Aslan Tepe was an important center. Then we go over to this article from Archaeology News Network. It says that Marcella Frangiapani, the chief of excavations in Aslan Tepe told the AA correspondent that the Adobe Palace dated back to 3300 BC, over 5,000 years old, and it was the oldest palace of the world. So there is a slight discrepancy in a few of these articles, but a pretty cool site here. History going back many thousands of years. Now this ancient palace, I believe, is what is found underneath the roofed-in area. They are trying to protect it from the elements. There is a mention of some kings and some artwork. And if they say these ruins on top of the hill are tw from 2200 BC or 3300 BC, really makes you wonder how old the ruins are down below. Have they gotten all the way down? Well, I'm just not quite sure. But here are a few more looks at the ancient ruins at Arslan Tepe or Aslan Tepe, as it is called here. Here is one of the findings from Aslan Tepe. This is housed in a museum nearby that stores artifacts from this ancient site but a lion or a feline figure of some sort. The ruins here date back to the Chalcolithic period which dates back to about 7,000 years ago. And then the Hittite period seems to be the most studied period of history here. The ruins date back to that period coming from the top of the mound. Here is a relief found from the Hittites. This is a beaked figure with the ears there carrying the weapon, the tail. What does this represent? You can leave your thoughts below on that. Here's the carving coming from a little over 3,200 years ago. The Hittites were here. What are they doing here? They are hunting lions for sport. Here's the statue of King Matalyu coming from the Hittites, coming from about 3,200 years ago. Here is some more carved stonework here. There seems to be a winged disc figure above this character here. These two figures are pouring water into these urns or whatever they are right here. Is this a symbolic representation of something happening at the time? Well, that's always a possibility. 
Here is one area of the excavations where they still had some red artwork on some of the walls here. What that depicts, I'm just not really sure. Here are some more looks at the site. Remember, some of these pics are coming from the museum where they house some of these artifacts. That looks at the ruins here, the excavated palace, as they call it. Statues of kings were found here. Here is that lion relief. More looks at the ancient mound. Looks like they have not gotten all the way down to the bottom of it, I'm assuming, but they have a modern open-air museum here. Looks at the ruins. More looks. P trying to protect them as best they can. But this site has a lot of history here, obviously. Some very cool things were found here. Also found at this site are some of the oldest swords ever found. Seems they were working with metals a long time ago at this site. This comes from March of 2020. It says swords from Aslan Tepe, an archaeological museum in Malaya. It says an Italian archaeologist who discovered that a mislabeled sword in the Venetian St. Lazarus Monastery is actually 5,000 years old. The chemical composition of the sword matches other specimens found in the Royal Palace of Arslan Tepe, an archaeological site in eastern Anatolia. And here is a look at some of these other swords, some of them going back 5,000 years. Here's a look at some of those 5,000-year-old swords. They have some interesting inlay designs on some of the handles there. Here is one more article I found, 5,500-year-old temple unearthed at Aslan Tepe Mound in Malaya. And this is just off the covered up area here and it seems the temple is a few centuries older than the palace according to dating here in this article here that is a video on arslan tepe aslan tepe however you want to pronounce it there is an open air museum at this site one of many ancient mounds in turkey that just has a whole bunch of ancient history stored in it waiting for people to discover it but ancient swords that go back five thousand years some cool statues, other things unearthed at the site. Hope you thought that was interesting and you all have a very nice day.